Well, snowed a whole lot this weekend just after New Year's in 2010. So much that I didn't even go snowmobiling today because they're getting stuck all the time. It's so deep and fluffy. So I stayed home and organized a photo album and now I'll show you guys just some farm memories, some history of the farm. There she be. First arrival of Pab's brand new quad. Jazz playing in the flooded pit. Now this is interesting. My very first building I had on my farm. 40 by 80 steel shed. My very first 4x4, a 1978 Jeep pickup truck. And my very first two joyriding cars. And my very first Aries turbo wagon. Well, this is exactly 10 years later and it's burnt down. Sucks. So that's why you see the new concrete, more secure building today that I made. A little romp in the lake with that 666 1986 Honda Civic that I did the bad air jump with and broke my ribs. And we actually drained it all out and got it running and jumped it a week later and I wrecked myself. It's another car jump, that Cavalier that does massive air. The very first redneck roller coaster, an 86 Pontiac J2000 or something like that, they called them, 1.8 liter. <laughs> this was, uh, the picture was taken in May of 1999. There we are taking that Honda out of the lake. <laughs> Some muddy buddies. Our very first snowmobile at the farm, and of course, Wolf's Raid in action. An early shot of behind my metal building. <laughs> now it's all a parking lot and all the cars are gone at the back. Some early biking. A little weasel creature we found. It was friendly. Trying out that quad the first day. More muddy buddies. Some redneck roller coasters in the background. Oh, and our <laughs> haunted uh, 1972 Olds, um, what's the full-size Olds called? Well, anyways, it had a 455 rocket engine in it, and that thing flew. <laughs> we took the doors off in the hood and trunk lid to make it lighter. It eventually died when the head gasket blew and filled one cylinder up with wa coolant or water. Some eager drivers. Oh my god, there's Evelyn. The first test drive of my redneck roller coaster in March of 2001. Little sledding get together. Another romp in the pond with that car. The Mazza, extreme Mazza jump that <laughs> didn't go right and hit the tree but made a great video. My five-speed turbo shadow 2.2 Daytona fight. Early beach scene. Uh, the Tercel that didn't even have 100,000 kilometers on it yet. A little fun on the gas-powered motorized bathtub boat. When I very first made that jump that I jumped that 666 Honda on, fresh dirt, the old 460 Lincoln, and the front end loader when it wasn't even rusty and it still had the diesel engine in it. One of the very first tips in that car. My buddy who broke his foot riding on the street in London naked and, <laughs> and fell off <laughs> when he hit some gravel around the corner. <laughs> That's Oli, the guy I got that white, uh, what do you call the thing, New Yorker from. One of our early Chevettes we joy rode. Honda again, <laughs> dead turd cell, another first maiden voyage, my son in that car when he was 12, him and his buddies in the other car at the same age, the pond and lake completely filled, islands underwater, <laughs> who needs a cold beer? 
used to have some guns way back when, but they got burned up in my barn fire and I never bothered renewing my gun license after that. First test of the motorized bathtub with floating pontoons on the back to balance it. Our very first Dave's Farm joyriding car. This picture was taken in 1989. The owner of this car committed suicide. It was left in a parking lot and I got it for free. It was a 350. After we were done killing it, we blew it up. The video should still be on YouTube. Same floating Honda. The redneck roller coaster car, just ready for the Santa Claus parade, and you can see there's a deer head mounted on it. The Cressida, it's been there for since 2000. It's a shot of one of our convertibles with the burnt down building in the background, circa 1999. First time I made that big trail from the barn to the forest, and we're riding on it. Another maiden voyage. giant snow pile. Clearing the rocks and dirt around my early building. The first year after winter of my new building. Look at all my lawnmowers. My kids in 1999 trying out this car. The first redneck roller coaster. Oh my god, it's Evelyn tasting the maple syrup I made in that redneck bathtub syrup boiler. It's just a porcelain bathtub with four legs welded to it and a fire underneath. And I had my trailer when it was in good condition. Another maiden voyage, biking, first winter voyage. My kids and their friends again. Well, this is what we had before I had the big trailer and a nice barn to hang out in little fun in the forest when I first got my dump truck first got my dozer first time we filled up the pond and skated on it me trying out some of that great Canadian maple syrup we made first got my tractor <laughs> first started putting junk behind my old building first hill I started sculpting with my dozer this is the hill that we did the uh, death drop and ghost rides of those cars off the edge. First time I made the laneway and drove on it from the building to the back of the farm. Shot when the whole gravel pit is filled up. That's where the beach would be. That's where the island would be. Sky Hill would be here. Another shot from a different angle. And there's Sky Hill right there under the water. Little redneck snow plowing. Some more mud buddies. My very first barrel stove I made for my new building at the farm had a cooktop on it and a built-in oven with thermometer. 